Okay. My next guest is probably a very nice man and is probably a very good boss to work for. Not everyone would agree, but that's why they're playing baseball in places like Anaheim. You know, it's a pleasure to welcome the owner of the New York Yankees, George Steinbrenner. George, good to meet you, sir. Come on over here. Now, George... I really enjoy your show. I watch all the... Where's Ed McMahon? <laughs> no, George, it's the wrong, wrong program. Story. Yes, we're on a little later. Oh. Okay. Now, you must be... Now, of course, as uh, Mr. Reiner explained, this is not actually what it appears to be, but the baseball strike has come and gone, and essentially. Ho right. So Hopefully you must by be now we're in first place, right? Hopefully. Hopefully yeah. now, yeah. <laughs> so, but today you must be a very, very... Are you a happy man today because of the result of this uh, settlement? I'm a happy man. Yeah. I really am. That it's over and uh, it was a short strike and uh, the fans don't deserve a no. long strike. And Winners, losers, important. anybody get an A? Uh, nobody a wins, nobody loses, something like that. But thank goodness it was only one day and the commissioner stepped in. Yeah. And uh, I think he did the right thing and uh, we're back playing for the fans. Now, when something like this happens, when there's an interruption in play, it doesn't happen too often. No. Now, will you go into the uh, clubhouse tonight and talk to the team? Do, oh, you, do we talk to Billy? I, What's the no, procedure? I, well, I never, that's, that never happens. I never call the dugout talk to Billy. Let's get that straight right away. Uh, I talk in the clubhouse once a year. I give a, a great, great speech every spring training. Uh -huh. and, How does that uh, go? Can you well, give us a little... The whole team loves it. If, if they don't, they're, they're playing in Seattle. Uh -huh. But uh, I go in and I talk about the dress code, the grooming, the curfew, nope. and, the, right. and the things like this. Dress code. They love it. And usually, I can remember one time. Dress code, uh, Beanie, Pinellas sitting in the back surrounded by Catfish Hunter and Sparky Lyle. Now, that's a losing trifecta. <laughs> the three of them sitting there. And I'm making my speech, and up goes Pinellas' hands. I'm talking about appearance and grooming. Uh -huh. And Pinella said, look, he said, I was raised in Tampa, Florida. I went to Jesuit high school. And he said, I've been a good Catholic boy all my life. Was raised to worship Jesus Christ, he says. And you're telling me to cut my hair? And Lou had long hair. Good-looking boy. Uh -huh. Long hair. And I said, that's right. And he said, well, every picture I've ever seen of Jesus Christ, his hair is down to his shoulders. Well, all the team cheers. And Hunter and Lyle <laughs> think it's great. Pretty religious group, are they? So I pull him up the front of the locker room, and this is maybe my greatest moment in baseball, to open the door. I said, what's that over there, Pinala? He said, that's the soccer stadium. And I said, that's good, and that was good for him. Uh -huh. And then I said, and what's this over here? And he says, uh, that's our ballpark. I said, good. And I said, what's that over there? He says, that's the superintendent's swimming pool. I said, good. The day you go over and walk across it, you wear your hair any way you want. Yeah. <laughs> What's the, what's the worst, and I don't want to dwell on this, but we might as well. What's, what's the worst incident you've had with uh, Billy Martin? I, I, don't, I haven't had any bad incidents No, no, George, no, no. Oh, oh yeah? Not me. What's, as far as just an argument, just a difference of opinion, I'm not talking about... Oh, I would say probably Billy and I, uh, uh, one time early on when I first had the team, we were playing the Mets in spring training, and, uh, yeah, I give him a hand. That's New York. I'm for them. Uh, they, uh, we were losing to them, and I went in the dugout uh, when I probably shouldn't have. This is the one time I did do it. This and is a spring, it, it training, spring game. training game. Exhibition game. Only exhibition game. I would never do that in the season. Uh, and I walked in, <laughs> poked my head around the corner, and I said, when you girls are finished, I'd like to see you all in the locker room, and walked <laughs> away. Well, he got mad. They went yeah. on to beat the Mets. They scored about four runs in that ninth inning in spring training. And then he came into the trailer after, and he said, don't ever do that again, and he put down a a little speaker radio recorder and said, I'm going to record everything you say to me. And I told him something and mm -hmm. he recorded it and that's probably the worst thing that's ever happened. And, and, and what did you tell Billy? Well, I can't say it here. You don't want to, you want to stay on the air, don't you? Yes, we do. Huh? Can, can you hint at what it might have been, though? Well, it wasn't nice. wasn't nice. No, Sorry. but I want to say this about Billy. When he's on his game, he's the best. Yeah. He's tremendous. Um, does, it, does, it, uh, does it bother you that the, the Mets so far have done really really well? I'm for the Mets. I, I'm for New York. I, I think it's great that they're doing well, albeit they're not in the American League East, which is yeah. the toughest division yeah. in baseball when you've got the Tigers, the Orioles, the Red Sox. You know. uh, you're, not, you're not playing. Don't the, forget the Indians. No, you've got the Indians, but... <laughs> but uh, and they, they've been beating us, too. Uh, but the American League East is the toughest. Look what the Tigers did to everybody in baseball last year. Yeah. 
Well, now, why is it that that race doesn't seem to be any tighter? I mean, uh, last year the Tigers ran away, and this year, what, you're... No, nobody's now, run away yet. Well, we you're were, nine back Well, now, in 78, right? we were 15 behind the Red Sox and beat them. Don't forget yeah. that. Went on to win the championship. Uh, this We're starting to play the East now. This is what counts, this, this uh, August, September. And we're going to be all right. We're going to make a real run at them. You wait. What was, uh, uh, what was Reggie Jackson like? Reggie was tremendous. Uh, the, the really? You, you that really he was, liked the guy? The, when they said there wasn't enough mustard in the world to cover him, that's true. Yeah. He is a, a real hot dog, but he was a tremendous performer. <laughs> a tremendous performer. And down the stretch, uh, you could count on him. He could carry a ball club in September. And I'm a great admirer of Reggie's. He belongs in the Hall of Fame. I, I know he has his detractors, but I'm not one of them. Um... Now you, you mentioned Billy. Is uh, is Billy should be at the stadium now? He's right? at the stadium now. Sure. Now they there was there was some discussion that Billy did, sometimes didn't show up as early as. Billy is always there. Of course, I don't talk to him or see him until maybe the day before the game and then after the game. Never during the game and never anything like that do I talk to him. I yeah. mean, he's on his own. Yeah, yeah. Uh, would would it be possible to get a hold of Billy now if we called the, the right dugout? now? Yeah, right now. Fifteen minutes till game time. Well, I think early it would be, I, but he wouldn't expect a call from me because I never call him. Oh, well, let's do something funny to Billy. <laughs> Just for the fun of it, call him up, tell him to take a hike. <laughs> take a hike? Just tell him to take a hike. Well, I will do this. I will do this. I'll call him and let him tell you that I never call him in the dugout oh, because yes. I never do. Let's do something else. Let's call him up and tell him that there's a trade in the works involving Ricky Henderson. You might be right. <laughs> <laughs> now, All you right. better explain that, All although right. by now I guess people would have heard Well, that. people would have heard that Ricky didn't get back for the two games tonight because he didn't know the strike was over. Well, I tell you, gang, you know, they're not all metal giants. Now, uh... <laughs> now, but, but Ricky, Ricky Henderson was apparently, uh, you couldn't get a hold of him in time, or? No, they got a hold of him. They got him yesterday mm -hmm. and, uh, uh, told him that there was a tentative agreement and he still headed for California, and then he called in today and said he couldn't get back in time, that he didn't know the strike was over. Now, that must just drive you doubly crazy. I've stopped worrying about it. I used to have flowing blonde hair. I'm now totally gray. <laughs> I, David, I tell you, I've, I've stopped worrying about it because it happens with these fellas, and, uh, you just have to accept it, I guess. Let his teammate take care of it, uh, uh, will they get the on him a little bit? Well, I think they probably will. We've got some leaders on that team. I think they'll take care of it, and then I'll take care of the fine, see? Yeah. And what kind, of, <laughs> what, what kind of fine are we looking at, George? Well, substantial, but it goes... When all our players are fined, it goes to help the high school kids mm -hmm. in New York City who right. somehow, for whatever reason, I don't know, can't afford some of their athletic programs. If we can't get athletic programs for the kids in the city of New York, then we're a pretty poor city. And uh, so we take our money, like those two players that I had that had that little indiscretion in Kansas City when they couldn't find the men's room. Thousand dollars a piece to help the kids. So. Uh, well, that's very, very generous of you. Yeah. Now, uh, I forgot what I was going to ask. Should we call well, Billy or what? If you really want to call him, we better do it. What do you say? Just, just mention oh, that, uh, brother. Just mention that you got a uh, yes a trade in the works for Winfield. Okay. And then just laugh it off. Laugh. He enjoys a good joke, doesn't he? He enjoys right. it. Ask that guy that sells marshmallows. Do I do I dial the area code here? All of these right now? No. Oh, just this. Okay. Oh, here. Uh, all right. Two. Oh, oh well, I no, missed out. Damn, I'm wow. so nervous. Well, in Indiana, you know, they got those the ones they still go like that. <laughs> now you you spent some time in Indiana. I love it. All right, I'm very nervous. Very, very nervous. So am I. What's a chance uh, late in the season if I came out to the park early, I could play? Uh, they tell me you're a good softball player. Oh, yeah. Well, what the hell is that? Sound like you got crickets up there in the Bronx. Oh, oh no, I, you better talk to yeah. him. You, you're the man here. Jackie. Uh, give me Billy Martin. This is Mr. Steinbrenner. Tell him you're, he, he's just done. Tell him he's done. That you've had a chance. <laughs> you have other, other ideas. I can't do that. Oh, you got to tell him we're on the air first. Hello. Billy. Yeah. Tell him this here. is uh, George. You calling again? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> you got to be kidding me. I was just about to call you to tell you that uh, that I've traded you for Letterman. But will you find yeah. telling these fine people here? It's a tremendous... Uh, tell them that I don't call you every inning, will you please? Well, I can't lie to those nice people, George. <laughs> Let's put it this way. Not every inning. Every other inning. Every other inning? Maybe two or three times every other inning. Yeah, but not in the dugout? 
I, in the dugout. In the and dugout. That's why I carry the beeper when I'm arguing with the umpire. Sometimes they call from George. But, uh, <laughs> When we're, we're winning, he doesn't call me. So when we're losing, it's my fault. See, and I understand this. <laughs> B- B- Billy, B- Billy, Billy, this is Ricky. I, I, I won't be there till Monday. We'll be right back with Whitney Houston. <laughs> 